Every Friday, or at least the last show of every week, our friends at Local Environmental give us a chance to blow off a little steam. Johnny gives us a little rock and roll, and we get into your real emails to talk at ryanjesperson.com. It's a tradition we call Trash Talk! All right, this one from Johnny, who says, I work in a place uh, that subscribes to a coffee service, uh, but we love the coffee so much and blew through it that the boss went out and bought a pound of coffee for the workplace, and quite frankly, it stinks. It's terrible. It's disgusting. And this is what we get for straying away from our coffee sponsor. He says, just a quick note. I will not continue to drink this sludge, this swill, this trash signed Johnny I can relate I just wanted to point it out I fucked up and I just thought this was a good venue to do it this is (laughs) terrible (laughs) this is the worst coffee we've had in months we got to get back to Yegg Coffee Club we blew through our six pounds for the month delivery day is coming up anyway I just wanted to give you a special shout out there, pal. (laughs) I wrote the email, all right. Now, this is a real one. This is one from Raging Grandma. She signed off Raging Grandma, so I won't use her real name. I don't know if she wants me to use it, but she says, what does it take to flick up or down that little arm by the steering wheel? Everybody, you're saying, you know, what does it take? What happened to driver's etiquette, specifically in school drop-off zones? Can you not see I've done a drop-off? You know, I'm waiting for my signal gun. Hell no. Better hurry on your own way. You self it honk at me as I try to edge out. Give me that look, eh? Same as the parents' angle parking, the back of place. Where's the courtesy? Stop. Let us back up. These double parkers, the angle parkers making a mess, swinging open doors. Let your kid out without even thinking. Well, you know what? You know what, people? Says raging grandma. It's time instead of dropping off your kids that you go back to school and learn common courtesy. Maybe reread your vehicle's driver's manual or research on where and what the vehicle's turn signal is for and then she signs off have a great day morons that from raging grandma and i hope that she feels better love it keep them coming and leslie chimes in says memo to every politician this is the one i was talking about earlier a memo to every politician running on or even considering running on a platform of fighting ottawa fighting other provinces fighting for so-called alberta sovereignty this is exhausting all this fighting not even fighting really actually saber rattling trash talking if you will but when's the last time one of these people actually accomplished something as opposed to talking about what they're going to accomplish or fight for until they move on to talking about fighting for something else huh i love western canada says leslie i spent my entire life in bc alberta manitoba but i didn't backpack southeast asia with a provincial flag on my backpack i sewed that maple leaf on and wore it proudly Still do. I'm keeping an eye on the UCP leadership race. I've enjoyed the candidate interviews on Real Talk so far. Thank you, Leslie. She says, I might even consider buying a membership to vote if a candidate catches my attention with their empathy, experience, and vision. Tell us how you'll work with neighboring provinces and the federal government to accomplish what the people want. That's what would impress me. It's seriously that simple. That from Leslie. Trash Talk is presented by Local Environmental. You can learn more about what they do. Request a quote today at localenvironmental.ca. Coming up on Monday, I'm so excited to check back in with paleontologist Steve Brusati. This guy digs up dinosaur bones for a living. He just worked on the newest Jurassic World film. He was the scientific consultant. He's going to tell us what it's like to work on some of Hollywood's biggest blockbusters. And coming up on Tuesday, National Indigenous People's Day, Shea Bird will join us to talk about the future of indigenous tourism. And I'm thrilled that my friend Chevy Rabbit, a human rights advocate, has agreed to join us as well. That's Tuesday, the 21st of June. In the meantime, have an amazing weekend, Real Talkers. We love you. We'll see you bright and early Monday morning.